Between the Pacific Ocean and the Sierra Madres in northwestern Mexico lies a valley with a story that is both unusual and disturbing. A story of two communities whose children differ in the most basic of ways. A story of a woman, anthropologist Elizabeth Gillette, who undertook a journey that could help future generations of children in the Yaki Valley and may have an impact that reaches far beyond. We live in a world of man-made chemicals in the manufactured products in our home, workplace, and play areas. Synthetic chemicals are in our food, in the air we breathe, and the water we drink. 39 years ago, in her book Silent Spring, Rachel Carson warned that pesticides have repercussions far beyond the insects, weeds, and rodents we're trying to control. Many chemicals break down with great difficulty, so they persist and are concentrated up the food chain. And we are at the top. From a fertile valley in Mexico comes a cautionary story about the potential cost of our attempts to manage nature for cosmetic purposes or to boost productivity. <laughs> 